Here's a quick video picking up on a comment that was left on another one of our videos showing um, Bubble's new responsive engine and building a responsive header. Um, responsive means that uh, when you reduce or change the page size, uh, it adapts uh, to the size of the page or, or the, the web browser that the user is using. Um, so something that can be really helpful uh, and you see a lot, uh, not just in SaaS apps, but in web design in general, is uh, swapping from a desktop menu to a mobile menu. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So at the moment, you can see that uh, we have our desktop menu and it just behaves quite poorly when it's shrunk down. Um, so uh, I'm going to select the group that's containing it all and add a condition. So when um, page width uh, is less than, uh, let's go for 480, um, element visible, no. Uh, and then just let's check my layer options. Uh, so we've got collapse when hidden uh, load on page load. So we're going default desktop, um, secondary, we're going mobile. Um, so let's just see how that now behaves. So when the page width gets down to 480, which that was a really good guess, 480, it disappears. How do I bring in a mobile menu? So uh, I'm gonna add in an icon and I'll just drop it in here and then rearrange it. Uh, yeah, so my icon is going to the end of my menu and um, oh, let's center it, yeah, okay. Uh, so this is not gonna come in on page load. This is going to come in when page uh, width is larger than or equal to. So in order to kind of cover every single pixel value, one needs to be uh, your less than and the other one needs to be larger or equal to or kind of vice versa. Otherwise you're gonna end up with one pixel value that isn't accounted for. Um, is visible, yes. And then uh, collapse when hidden. And let's try that in the response editor. Um, here we go. So, shrink it down, shrink it down, and okay, I, is that because I've got it hidden there? Maybe this will be easier to test. Uh, I think because in the uh, UI builder here, you can manually toggle elements off and on. Um, let's, uh, let's preview it. Uh, and then let's put it into uh, the browser responsive mode. Uh, and, oh, and uh, let me also turn off the debugger because that it can affect the mobile view. Okay, uh, so uh, I've got something wrong there because it is visible. Page load, yeah, point greater than, oh, less than, less than. So that should be the opposite of, well, no, it's the same as that statement because I'm using that statement to hide it. Uh, so actually, in this instance, <laughs> I need to make them both the same because I want the action to happen at the same time. Um, let's just see if that was a mistake I made. Uh, no, let's use it. Let's just use the browser. There we go. Um, so you can see that it uh, shrinks down. I'm just going to delete the elements on this page because I think they are messing with how it looks when it's responsive because uh, all I'm doing now is focusing on the header, and there you go. So uh, it shrinks down and it disappears. Now, what if I wanted that mobile menu item to, um, the, the hamburger here, what if I wanted it to appear next to the logo? So I think this is possible in Bubble, but we'll see. Uh, I'm sure that it is. So in here, uh, which is the, the group, and so the group has currently got this expression uh, container alignment space between. And so I'm gonna see if I can add a conditional statement to align left. Uh, so when a uh, page width uh, is less than 480, uh, content alignment. Yeah, looks like we can do this with a new responsive engine. There we go. So it aligns it to the logo. 
And just to conclude this really quick video, uh, I'm going to just show you how to do like a, a modal popover uh, with the um, the hamburger, the mobile menu. Um, so uh, I can have a pop up in, and then this is going to be very rough. Um, obviously, you can design things much better than this, and you wouldn't be using a fixed layout. In fact, such a bad idea to use fix. I'm going to change it to a row right now, and at least neaten it up a little bit. Um, home about us and uh, contact. Okay, so how do I get that to show? So I add in a workflow when the hamburger is clicked, uh, element show pop up. There you go. You have a responsive menu now and you have a mobile menu.